Hello, my name is Eclipse and this is your next glow up video. So you can either pick one of these three crystals or you can skip ahead and pick one of the paintings. If you picked this crystal or this painting, this is your reading. Hello, pile one. So I'm first going to just look at the things you chose and see if I can get any messages from that. She looks very dreamy, like she's about to fall asleep or she's like I'm specifically seeing that moment right before you go to bed where you're sort of awake but not awake like there's an actual specific term for it I'll look it up and then I'll put it in the video but this state is a very powerful state to manifest things in your life so what I would recommend you doing is before you go to sleep at night or right when you wake up I want you to do some affirmations like how um, I am beautiful I am magnetic I am confident you can look up a bunch of affirmations that you can say about yourself or just in your head but I would recommend doing this for a consistent amount of time like oh, what, um, every day for a week or every day for a month and you're going to start, start seeing results and you're going to believe on the subconscious realm that you are these things I'm also seeing the leopard skin that she's sleeping on I see you becoming more confident in yourself, more confident in your body, more confident in the way you walk, more confident in life in general. Um, I see you also being inspired by other confident people, other confident celebrities, um, seeing them as your role models, taking advice from them. You, yeah, I see you like going on Instagram and like getting these beautiful confident woman with like little tidbits of advice of how to be confident specifically seeing that I'm seeing Alexa Demi I'm seeing Maria from The Bachelor I'm... and this 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 glow up is going to come quite fast with the leopard very fast something with your hair as well if you have naturally curly hair or like wavy hair I see you start doing like um I see you start caring for your hair, no longer just straightening it or like treating it like straight hair. I see you actually wearing it curly and having a, a good curly girl routine. If you have straight hair, I see you not using your curling iron as much, but rather wearing it straight. I see you also getting a haircut, um, something that frames your face better. That just suits you more. Even like a different hair colour that would suit you more. Yeah. But I see you, everything that you're doing, it feels very intuitive. I just saw 333 on the, on the timer of the camera. That's so weird. I haven't been looking at the actual camera for that whole three minutes. And as soon as I looked, it was 333. Okay, anyway. Yeah, everything feels... Very divinely guided, the way you're going about this glow up. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel forced. It feels like, oh, I like this haircut. Let me try this out. And then it works out perfectly. Or, oh, I like, you know, I think I like pink. Let me start wearing pink. And then it just looks, it, 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 it ends up being your, like, your seasonal color and whatever. Like, you're very just divinely guided, attracted towards the things that are going to make you look more beautiful. But yeah, let's see what the cards have to say. How is Power One going to glow up in the foreseeable future? How? Okay, I see you once again using manifestation, using those affirmations. Like, also, like, it's not just about looking. Like you got to glow up like it, you know how you like you start doing your makeup differently and you wear certain clothes, maybe you go to the gym. You're also glowing up energetically, like your aura is becoming stronger. You 
there's just this high vibrational energy around you. I see you sleeping more. Like I feel like you haven't been getting enough sleep in. And now you are resting enough. And that is helping your body. Um, because if you don't sleep enough, you start looking tired. Your skin starts looking weird and aged. But when you do sleep enough, you look young. You look glowing. You know, so get enough sleep. Definitely. I saw that also in the painting as well. But it, that's just affirmation. That is just... A, yeah. I'm also getting the vibe of like people being speechless around you because I'm struggling to find the right words. I'm struggling to like form coherent sentences. So people are going to be like very, they're going to be like, what? I do see this, this glow up coming from a place of, it's almost like a revenge glow up. Like someone, maybe you broke up with someone or someone let you down, maybe a friend. And you're taking all this pain, all this anger, and you're putting it into your looks. Which is a very powerful way of glowing up. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of destruction in your life. You feel like you feel betrayed. You feel angry. It's very much feminine rage here. Very, it, it, this is dark feminine energy. And you're using it to become more beautiful. Yeah, you're definitely becoming more beautiful. I'm also seeing you being very independent. You're no longer becoming, you're no longer needy. You're no longer a people pleaser. And that is also what's going to make you look more beautiful. Like you are cutting off that codependency. You're cutting off your anxious attachment styles. You're, you, you're becoming self-sufficient. But yeah, your, your spirit guides are very much on your side when it comes to this glow up. This is kind of like a part of your spiritual awakening. That might resonate for some of you. I don't know how. But yeah, it's part of your spiritual awakening. It's part of your destiny to go through this glow up right now. It's going to be a big glow up. One of the biggest ones you've ever had. Like, I feel like some of us go through cycles of glow ups. And this is going to be a big one for you. A big one. Pe yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, how do you want to fall? Okay. I feel like, yeah, you're discovering your power. You're also discovering new ways to look pretty or like new ways of like doing your makeup new ways of holding yourself new mannerisms i'm also hearing like you are going through it all like you're learning new stuff about your hair specifically like i'm seeing um the princess diaries where she goes from like frizzy hair into this beautiful blowout so like you're learning how to do your hair properly to make it look healthy and also if you have curly hair you're learning not to just brush it out when it's dry so that it doesn't look frizzy you actually do it properly so that it looks nice and curly you're learning your feminine powers especially you're learning about um i don't chase i attract um, you're learning not to, you're learning not to look desperate in s certain situations. Because I feel like you can tell when a person is trying to get another person's attention. Like trying to be seductive. Trying to, like if you ever go to a, let's, like a club where everyone's trying to look like the best versions of themselves and trying to like, get some hot man or hot woman you can always like tell the ones who are more desperate than the others it's just a way they hold themselves the way their eyes look the way they they are desperately looking at people and like hoping one of them picks them you're getting rid of this mentality you're getting 
you know, you're, you are starting to be more confident in yourself and realizing you don't need anyone's validation in order to look good, in order to feel worthy. And that makes you look even more beautiful. That makes people want to look at you because you don't actually want them to look at you. I'm seeing have you, the, the movie Melina or Melena. I think it's Melina. It's an Italian movie where Monica Bellucci, she's Melina. And there's these famous scenes where she, she walks down the streets and she's looking down. She doesn't want people to look at her, but everyone is just staring at her. Like they can't help but stare at her. And she doesn't, you know, you don't get the vibe from her that she wants all this attention, but she gets it regardless. I'm getting those same vibes. I'm seeing you not caring, you looking down in, in like the streets and like people are just like so magnetized towards you. This is very powerful energy. Let's see what else. Yeah, you're like a flower who's blooming. Oh my gosh, hold on. A flower who's blooming very quickly. You're, if you're a woman, you're giving like you're a woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not giving a young teenager look vibe anymore. You are giving, I am a woman. I am a man. Like you look very sexy. Let me say it like that. Um, there is this strong, like, a virility about you also I'm hearing like you have a very strong chi yeah you know the energy around you is very strong it's very sensual it's very people think you're charismatic as well without even trying like this whole vibe of this 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 pile specifically is you it, it looks like you're not trying it looks like it comes easy to you And the whole world is looking at you. The whole world wants to be you. They either want to be you or be with you. You know, even with this Empress energy, like you have conquered all of the elements. That's what the Empress means. She is the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Queen. What? Which one did I miss? The Queen of Pentacles, all in one. She's conquered all of these elements. You have conquered every single part of yourself, and people see that. You've conquered your your job, your the way you look, the way you hand you treat people, your relationships, your the way you communicate, your intelligence. You've conquered it all, and people see that. Get one more card. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be slow. This is going to be fast. Like, you're going to give people whiplash <laughs> with how fast you glow up. Like, I'm serious. This is like an overnight type of thing that people are like, well, wait a minute. Who? Pile one? Did they just... What? You know? I'm getting those vibes. Like, whoa. Like, who, pile one? What did you do? Did, did, <laughs> it feels like you got plastic surgery. Like, that's how fast your features are going to change the way you present yourself is going to change i want to get from another pile so i'm going to use my my astrology oracle deck so this does not have to be your astrology sign i'm looking at the vibes of the pictures of the of the astrology sign so it doesn't matter what the astrology sign is okay but anyway so how is pile one blowing up I was pile one going to blow up. Okay. Just get a so we have Sagittarius and Mercury. I see you also focusing on your health. Like I see you focusing on things like your gut health, your hormones, um, exercising, but not over exercising. I see you 
looking at your um, your your monthly cycle and exercising accordingly so that you're not overworking yourself when it is that time of the month if you know what I'm saying Just do that more I see you also being more precise in your life like your goals are more precise you're not vague about the things that you want you know exactly what you want you're very assertive you're also not afraid to draw boundaries with people hmm. i'm also looking at this purple um you might look good in purple also lavender is coming up like lavender oil or lavender perfume I don't know why. That might be relevant to some of you. Anyway, let's see what else we can get. Okay. Seventh house, ninth house, and twelfth house. Okay, well, ninth house goes with Sagittarius. I see you becoming more educated. Um, like, I see you reading uh, um, more books maybe taking courses maybe going back to school like you are expanding your mind as well as just expanding your physical beauty you might also be inspired by other countries and um, the way they dress like i don't know if you've ever been like to italy but or to greece or i feel like you you, you go to a country and you see the way people there dress and then you incorporate incorporate that into your own way of dressing. Like also New York fashion is way different to let's say California fashion, you know? So you are incorporating another city or another country's fashion into yours. Um I see I do see you going into a relationship because of this glow up. Someone's gonna notice you. And that could end up into a romantic relationship. And if you are already in a relationship, I do see the energy of them like hyping you up is going to help you also blow up. Like them telling, oh, you're so beautiful, babe. Oh, I love the way you dress and blah, blah, blah. Like these are like almost like affirmations, but from someone else. So they you they are manifesting it for you in a way yeah but definitely you are doing this in a very spiritual way like i see you also with crystals like rose quartz like, like sitting there and i also see you meditating on it when you meditate you can actually glow up so much um learning um dealing with this stuff in your body like dealing with your own trauma your body remembers trauma your body remembers everything a memory your if you don't deal with your emotions they go sit in your body they'll maybe go sit around your gut maybe around your thighs in your skin and it tends to like age you and make you look not the way you want to look but when you go deal with those things, when you meditate, the energy starts flowing again there and you release it. So a lot of people grow skinnier, like their face shape even changes. They, their skin starts to glow because they are healing themselves and not letting that stagnant energy sit within their bodies. Third chakra and crown chakra. I feel like some of you are nervous you like you don't like to speak your truth um you might be a little bit socially anxious and i see you growing out of that maybe that is why i've been struggling to speak throughout this pile like my throat chakra does actually feel a bit blocked i would also recommend you um meditating on your throat chakra 
maybe get some crystals, maybe listen to some frequencies. But if you unclog your throat chakra, you'll be more confident, I'm hearing. Yes, that is a big thing. And I feel like you've been only focusing on your sacral chakra, where confidence does come from. But because your throat chakra is blocked, because you're afraid to be authentic, you are not confident. So work on your throat chakra. That is the key to your confidence. Your crown chakra. Yeah, your energy is just, it's going to be so beautiful. Like so magnetic because you like, because you're getting into your sp the spiritual awakening, because you're getting into like realizing that you are, you are a soul in a body, not a body with a soul. That um, it just makes you look, you, you're glowing. You are magnetic. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and comment down below. Thank you for watching. Bye. If you chose this crystal or this painting, this is your reading. Hello, pile two. So this is a very magical pile. pile. The I think this is Circe, the, um, the sorceress from ancient Greek mythology. And yeah, I feel like you... Are going to use magic in order to glow up or you're going to use manifestation i see you writing down in like a manifestation ma manifestation journal i see you saying affirmations to yourself i even see you in the mirror telling yourself how beautiful you are which is a very powerful way of manifesting beauty uh i see you as um reading a lot about glowing up and becoming more beautiful i, I see you watching videos on how to glow up yeah but uh th this is so magical because even a labradorite the crystal you have here is about magic it's people are just gonna think you're so magical like you you might even get the the compliment oh you look like a witch or you know something magical supernatural i feel like you you're gonna elevate the spiritual side of yourself into your looks. You might even be inspired by mythological creatures or a goddess or witches or whatever. That keeps on coming up though in some of my readings. Like there's a specific like there's a specific collective of you guys that you guys are just you just look supernatural and it keeps popping up. And you're gonna just look more supernatural. I also, I also see you using your water to manifest. You were saying affirmations into your water and then you're drinking it. Or you are um, putting crystals into your water. Be careful what crystals you put into it because not all, because some crystals are toxic. I think you can put rose quartz in your in your water. I also, I've seen like bottles as well with, with certain types of crystals in them. Um, but yeah, just be careful what crystals you put in your water. But yeah, I see you manifesting with water. Using like the elements. Like you're also inspired by the elements. Like inspired by fire. That's coming up. Yeah, this is very vague. Let's see with the cards what's going on. How is pile two going to glow up? Okay, this is similar energy to pile one where this is a revenge glow up. Like something happened to you and you're just like, screw it. I'm going to look so fine that they regret doing that to me. Um, yeah, maybe you broke up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're just like, no, I want to look good. I do see some of you going to the gym. That just popped in my head. Let's see what else. That's too many, but I am going to take the top card. Yeah, you're angry. You're using your anger to feel your glow up. You like, I'm seeing like the fire once again. You're being inspired by fire. I'm seeing like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Like, you are just 
tired of people even bullying you about the way you look and you're just like screw it i am not gonna live like this anymore there is a fire in your eyes you might even like start drawing more attention to your eyes like the way with you how you do your makeup or your eyes are just very intense and alluring they're becoming more intense and alluring yeah i do see a lot of disappointment here but you being guiding guided away from that disappointment also seeing the picture of like you had a bunch of cups and they spilled over and instead of just going into the um going back to the lake or the river to like fill up the cups you're like you know what let me just be in the river that's what what does that mean <laughs> these are some strange messages what does that mean what does that message mean Oh, uh, okay. So instead of like, when people normally glow up intentionally, they, they like, they take small little tidbits from here and there. Like, oh, I, I just learned how to do my eyeliner or um, now I know how to do, how to curl my hair. It's very small things. You're like fully embraced into this like you are submerged into this glow up you are learning everything you can you are not only learning how to curl your hair you're learning how to do a full-on blowout you're learning how to take care of your hair you're not just learning how to do your, your eyeliner you're learning how to do like all the different types of like makeup styles you're learning about um how to dress yourself and what is the best type of clothing to dress yourself in like you are this, this is kind of like an obsession, like an obsession to gain knowledge about beauty. Like there's, there's almost not enough time in the day to learn all these things. I see your whole like for you page or your like your social media feeds being about how to become more beautiful, how to become more confident. It's just that everything you're reading as well. Hmm. What else? Also, learning how to use manifestation when it comes to glow ups. You're learning all the techniques, like mirror work, what I talked about earlier, or working with water, and all sorts of other things. What else? Yeah, definitely learning. You're also becoming more intelligent. You are broadening your knowledge on different things um, in order to become like your brain is glowing up. That's what I'm hearing. It's not just your physical looks. You are becoming smarter. You're becoming more knowledgeable. People are very attracted to smart people, intelligence, very attracted. I keep on hearing glamour. That is for a specific few of you who knew, know what that means. Glamour. Let's see what else. I'm seeing you like conquering beauty. You're not just becoming beautiful, you are conquering it. I do see you um, also starting to like dress more luxuriously, like your energy is becoming more luxurious. You might be into like old money aesthetics. Yeah, I do see you getting more money and you're using that money in order to invest in yourself. Maybe getting a gym membership, maybe um, buying new makeup, whatever. Whatever it is. 
You're definitely investing in your looks. Yeah, you're, also, you're definitely going to the gym. Or you're doing Pilates. Exercise is a big... It's an important thing for your for your glow up. Let's see what I can get from my oracle deck. So this is my astrology oracle deck. This does not have to be your sign. I'm only look at the, looking at the energy. But if it is your sign, that's cool. So how is pile two glowing up? How is pile two glowing up? becoming very sexy <laughs> you are putting an emphasis on your sexiness like maybe you're wearing clothes that are more flattering on you wearing makeup that is a little bit more sexy your energy is also very sexy like there is an intense allure to you Both of them are wearing flowers in their hair. Flowers could be important. I see you changing your perfume to something that is a bit more alluring, a bit more attractive. Yeah, perfume is very important. Like it's not just, I'm hearing it's not just the physical that is glowing up. It is all of the senses. Like the way you speak, the way you smell, the way you feel so like i feel like you're you're putting on a lot of moisturizer and you, you, you your skin feels soft your hair feels soft okay so let's see what i can get from my little card things we have first house self appearances identity yeah yeah this is a you're definitely focusing on the way you look specifically for this glow up. Once again, I'm hearing exercise. I'm hearing, I'm hearing your hair. I'm hearing your outfit. I'm hearing the way you, your makeup, the way you present yourself to the world. You are definitely focusing on this. Eighth house. I'm here. I feel like you're also your, your, you're highlighting the parts of you that you your natural beauty like i see some of you you might have like you know like your nose your natural nose you're you're highlighting you're highlighting the way it naturally looks you're no longer hiding behind makeup um yeah like let's say you the way you do your makeup it hides certain features, like maybe the way your eyes are shaped or the way your cheeks look. You're no longer hiding behind that makeup. You are now presenting yourself in a very natural way. I don't see a lot of makeup here. I see you embracing a more natural look. Also, your hair doesn't look... It doesn't look too stylized. It looks natural. It doesn't look like you put hours and hours into your hair or your makeup or the way you look. It feels like you are embracing your natural beauty, the beauty that you have gained from your parents, from your ancestors. You're no longer trying to look like something that you're not. The sixth house, yes, health, fitness. This is not a sign for you to go exercise. I don't know what it is, but you're also focusing on what you're eating. Solar plexus. You're also discovering who you are as a person and you're embracing that and you're expressing that through the way that you dress. Third eye. Third eye. Clarify the third eye, please.
you're going to naturally know what the things that makes you look beautiful, the things that suit you. You don't need to even look in a mirror to know that you look good. You know, you're not going to be like, oh, I don't know what to wear. I don't know how to do my makeup, blah, blah, blah. No, you just, you just know. And you don't even need to look in the mirror to know that you look good. You just go out and you, it's like this confidence that you have that is also very attractive. Which are your, your intuition is going to be very high in this time. Thank you so much for coming to this reading. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you chose this crystal or this painting, this is your reading. Hello, pile three. So looking at your painting and your crystal, she to me looks like a woman who is in love. I don't know. To me, she's, she's giving a bridal energy. And you have the rose quartz, which is the crystal of love. So I'm seeing you, your glow up coming from a state of love. Like either you are in love with someone, but I feel like it's more of self-love. You're learning how to love yourself exactly how you are. You're learning about unconditional love towards yourself. You might be doing a lot of self-love affirmations. And so that is going to be the source of your glow up. She also looks very natural. She looks, she doesn't... She, in this time period that um, this painting was made, beauty was like, beauty in paintings was more like, you're wearing all these luxurious clothing, you're wearing jewels, but she's not wearing, she, she looks very plain, not plain, but simple, where her dress is just a nice white frock and her face and her, 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 her hair is also very simple. You're going back to your roots of what makes you pretty. You're not trying to put on a lot of makeup or put on a bunch of clothes and make that your beauty. I, I see like you embracing the no makeup look. I see you taking care of your skin as well. Like you, your skin becomes your pride and joy so that you don't have to wear a lot of makeup to hide your um to hide your skin, to hide your in, your insecurities of maybe you have a little bit of acne or I don't know. You you're, you you are finding new ways of taking care of your skin. Maybe it's the way you eat. Maybe it's um, things that you're putting onto your face. You're letting your skin breathe and relax, and you you're giving off a very youthful glow. I also see you doing gua sha which helps make you look a lot younger. You're also not going into the sun as much. You, you're not trying to put on self-tanner or let your skin burn to a crisp. I see you taking care of your, your skin in that way too. You put on your SPF. You know, you, you're taking care of yourself. You're, and in that way, you are showing yourself love. Let's see what else I can get from the cards. That was part three. Glowing up. We've got the Emperor. Okay. Yeah. There is definitely a love interest here. Definitely. And um, because your heart chakra is so open because of this person that helps you to show yourself love which is so beautiful like you are pouring into your own cup because you're feeling the love of someone else or because you're in love with someone else you're no longer putting because sometimes when we're in love we tend to take our cup and pour all the water in their cup we show them all the love without it coming back but I see you not only being the love being reciprocal and you're, you're receiving the love back, but you're also, you're also making sure that your cup is all, always filled. You're not dependent on this person. Your heart chakra is very healed and healthy. Love is in the air. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yeah. You're feeling very romantic. Like I see you 
And if you're not in a relationship or like going out on dates, it's like you're going out on dates with yourself. Like, you know the way when we're about to go on a first date and we're like putting all this effort in the way we look, we want to impress them. I see you doing all of that without needing to go on a date. You take yourself on a date and it's fun for you. You find joy in like putting a little bit of effort into your looks. It's like, it's like you're flirting with yourself. Yeah, I'm seeing you just having fun in general. You you have this light energy about you. I feel like there was a previous pile that was very was dark energy, but like dark feminine energy. But this pile is very much light feminine energy. You are just enjoying life. You're on a high vibration. And from this joy and from this pleasure of life, you are glowing up from the inside. Like this is very much a glow from the inside. It's not... It's not you focusing on your physical looks. It's not you trying to learn new makeup looks or trying to find new clothes. It's just you giving yourself love, doing, putting in some self-care and glowing from the inside out. Do you see pink is an important color? Like I feel like you might... If you do do makeup, you may be just doing a little bit of blush or a little bit of lipstick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see the life through rose-colored glasses. Clarify. No one can steal this love from you. People are going to try and send you evil eye or tell you it's all in your head or whatever or like try try to bring you down to their level because they they are jealous of the way you're looking at the moment they're jealous of the self-love this confidence but you are so you are so fulfilled and happy in your own little bubble that you they can't they can't steal that love they can't steal that self-love. It is so firm. It is so unconditional. It is so strong. They can't steal your self-love. Yeah, because and also because it's coming from the inside out, it looks like magic. Like people can't put their finger on it. But like they can see the glow up, but they can't put their finger on what's different. They're like, did she use magic? Is she a witch? You know, <laughs> it's just like, you just look stunning out of this world, like a goddess or a god. Yeah, I do see you getting a lot more attention from people. People celebrating your beauty. Um, like maybe on social media, maybe you post something on Instagram and you see a lot of comments, a lot of likes. Or maybe you just get a lot of compliments in real life. Is the Pinnacles clarified? And it's a very, this, this glow up is a very strong glow up. It is not dependent on you being in a certain emotion to have it. It's not dependent on you looking at a certain way or dressing a certain way. It is a very strong, it's always going to be there. But let's see what your astrology cards say. So these cards are my astrology oracle deck. They do not have to be your sign. I'm just looking at the energy of the cards. So, how is pile three going to glow up? Uranus. So we have the goddess of love herself, Venus. And Uranus, or I don't know how you say it in Greek. But um, Aphrodite, 
was born from the sea because um Kronos I don't know how to say it I don't know how to say it without getting flagged um basically his private parts were cut off were cut off and cast into the sea and she was born from that so what I'm getting like she, and she was born from that so I'm seeing um, the birth of Venus. I have had that um, that painting on this channel before. So you might have picked that painting in uh, in the previous, in one of my previous um, videos. But anyway, I'm seeing it. You, you're giving off the vibe. You were born this way. You were just born pretty. You were just born with this glow up. Even though it's like something that's coming for you that's... That you're working on it it just feels very natural this whole pile just feels so natural like you didn't try for this glow up and i don't see you trying let's see what else you what can get for you ah, heart chakra what did i say okay we have eight pounds Solar plexus, 10th house. Okay. Some of you are social media influencers. Some of you are going to be famous. And you're going to gain more attention from this glow up. Yeah. Yeah. Because this 10th house and 11th house is coming up, I'm seeing some of you posting on Instagram, posting on TikTok, like you may be posting like a thirst trap and it's going to go viral. Um, but yeah, with the 8th house, I see with the previous pile as well, it's like you're embracing your natural genes, your, your natural way of looking. You're no longer, you're not trying to look like something else that you're not. You are just embracing what you got naturally. Your heart chakra exactly the same what i told you before solar plexus i see you I see you becoming more confident confident in yourself confident in the person that you are confident in the way you naturally look but yeah if you enjoyed this reading please give it a like and subscribe and comment down below